I'm about to see something new and keep it going and stay undefeated. I don't care who it is, so we coming for your ass. You clocked in and you ready to fight. Ain't no running now. Lamachenko's punk ass. Should have did it with his eyes closed. <laughs> Cause that's what it's gonna be. Yo, you watching clocked in. Game day. Dominate on game day. You got your new clothes on on game day. Right. You ain't got no new clothes on. You spawn, you spawn with regular clothes, so you know, keep your game day just as motivated as your sparring days and keep practicing that shit. If you don't practice, man, you don't practice your sparring, you'll never be able to do anything. Like, I go through combinations over and over and over with Devin. Like, that's what we do. Combinations, hard punch combinations, bro. The slip and roll game is nasty. The defense game is nasty because I'm always incorporating defense with my pad work full time. Like I said, Offense is full-time, defense is part-time. Defense is part-time when you don't need it. Because if you got your hands in the right place, this is instant defense for your ribs. Everybody wants to be square, though. Everybody wants to be square. You should be, you should be instant defense. I see everybody throwing this shit. Even Tank, even Shakur, same shit. Why? Because habits get broken. You gotta keep repairing habits. You know what I mean? You gotta keep repairing habits. And Shakur and Tank, they're not perfect fighters. Neither is Devin. So that's why we're called coaches. <laughs> if Devin need a squad, they do this shit by themselves. Yeah, no, I put my own mouthpiece in. I'll drink my own water. Jeff, is that the bell? <laughs> Have you seen somebody start trying to fire their corner man or they during the fight? During the fight? Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is, that, is, that, is that the thing? I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of fighters beat up their coaches during the break because they like what they were saying. <laughs> Beating up your coach, bro. Right. Well, you know they, they want the fancy pad work. You know I can sit up here all day, brrr, all day. We don't need that. We need nasty. Right. We need, we need nasty. All that fancy shit. I don't give a fuck what sport yeah. it is. All that fancy shit. What is you niggas doing that? <laughs> What are they doing in the ring? He ain't going in the ring and say, hey man, hold on. <laughs> right. Bill Haney, Bill Haney did a lot for me. You know what Bill Haney told me? He said, Pad man, you the baddest motherfucking Pad man on the planet. You're a great coach. You're one of the best coaches I've ever seen. He said, we got one problem. I said, what is that? He said, you need defense with your pad work. Right. And I changed the game. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one doing it. But guess what? Bill did a lot for me. So it's, it's safe to say you're coachable. I'm coachable as you a coach. Grow. You want to be the yes. best. So if someone gives you better ideas and yes. better influence, it's good to listen yeah. to. Yeah, even though I'm almost 60, doesn't mean shit. If I'm going to take some knowledge that's going to make me a better person, then I'm going to do it. No matter what. And that's Bill. a real shout out to Bill Haney, Dream Team. Bill Haney in the building, parent to partner, my man in the building, good dude, put me on the map some more, <laughs> put me on the map some more champ, love you man, you and Devin, the whole team, much love, always, team Haney, <laughs> yeah, they gonna love that, <laughs> they gonna love that, <laughs> his ability to have better mobility because he's getting older and I see him as a better fighter because of his flexibility and his conditioning and he looks like a Terminator bro he's like a, a mini Terminator you, like you got to remember Devin Haney got a 73 inch reach. He got the longest reach in 135, 140 division, which is 73 inches. What 135 or 140 has that? I don't care who it is. Like Ryan Garcia might be, he's tall. I'm about to say close, but I don't know. But let's figure it out. We all love Ryan Garcia, but he was a hidden cupcake. This weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Was he to, is he even qualified to even be in that ring like this weekend? Well, like I said, a head and cupcake. He has good looks. He's marketable. He made some money off his, definitely off his mouth and off his looks. And that's part of the business because that's the entertainment side of boxing. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. This is entertainment. It's sports and entertainment. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that shit, man. They gotta recognize this is the business that you build. When you build a stable, you better be a part of that stable and be built just like them. Follow the system. You gotta follow the system. Tell me this, any words, anything you would have done different if you had Ryan? Ryan Garcia? If you had Ryan, what would you do different? Waited on Tank. Instead of chasing his ass down. You know how much heat he can throw. Why are you gonna try to chase a motherfucker down and do this shit? Walk to him like he gonna throw something dynamic and get caught with a. Damn, that second round. He got caught with a counter from his chin. Dude, he, I mean, that's 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 a long way off. Boop. He threw it perfect and he turned his shoulder on it and it got him there. Now the problem is Ryan Garcia don't get the type of pad work that he needs to to have better defense. That's where I come in the picture. Because <laughs> ain't nobody out there doing pads the way I do pads. Because I do defense pad work. That means every time you throw, I'm throwing two. So how important is defense in boxing versus offense? Offense is always number one. Defense is part-time if they understand. Defense is part-time because I say, defense should be here if nobody's close to you. If somebody's close to you, defense should be here. So why are you doing this when I'm way back here? <laughs> you should be here. Take your face out of the defense and actually box from here. Leaving your head out of the defense when they do throw anything, you should be here, 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 so you can counter in front of you. Not counter and bowling with it. No, 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 no. This hand still has to do his part. Still has to do his part. And if it's sitting there, guess what? Because that gap needs to be this big. Not this big. See this big gap? That shouldn't be. This is the small gap. Small gap. Small gap. Yeah, man. Tell me this before I let you go. Yeah. Who you want to see Kevin Taker? If I know you said Lama Tinko earlier, yeah. this is because we got to do this. Yeah. But in reality, in real time, who would you, who's the matchup you really want to see? Well, I want to shut mouths. So, if I want to shut mouths, you know who the top two tiers are. Which is, which is, you know, Tank. Yep. And Shakur Stevenson, yep, Shakur, you know, and Devin Haney. They're, they're the big talk. They're the big talk of the worldwide, not just world, worldwide. I'll be seeing them talk about the belts, the level of belts he got yeah. accumulated yeah. versus other champions. Yeah. Is that a real thing or is it? That's or, real, is that man. Based off of just because of the belts. That's a, that's a real a thing. When you get the, not just on the, in the ooh, ring, but he's actually a star outside the ring too. He yes, he is. He got the Ryan effect outside. The yeah. Ring. He got the the big dog shit in the ring. Yeah. Then he was groomed by the. Yeah. Come on. So it's like, well, you know, make it. Does they have to understand. They have to. Yeah, it's totally. It's totally a fact. It's in the bloodline, but it's totally a factor too. Okay. It's totally a factor too when it comes to it. You have to like let's let's say he he, he became a pro fighter at 15. He was fighting amateurs when he was what maybe seven, eight, nine somewhere around there. So if you take that, if you take that plus his pro career, that man then threw about a billion punches. <laughs> So was, he was getting his reps in early, is what you're saying. So, and Floyd will tell you the same thing. You need millions and billions of punches to be here. If you think you're going to get away with 500,000 punches, no. Nah. You need a billion punches in your career. You need a billion punches, man. Maybe two billion. Man, who, who the hell is keeping count? <laughs> it, it shouldn't even have to be a count. It's basically mindset. You know when you have it. Does that make sense? Right, right, right. right. Like, <laughs> you wasn't in the gym. I know, I know what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. Yep. The gym is where it's at. Yeah. If you put the time in, you're getting those billion punches. Yeah. You gotta put the time in. Like when my kids come down here to practice or my pro fighters, uh, they work the whole time. They're here pretty much all day. All day. From nine to five, pretty so, much. So you old school with it. You say, hey, you gonna work all day. Yep. 
Yeah. Because I look at it, I look at it like this. I look at it like this. Later on in your career, you have to work three hours. Who the fuck works three hours and makes tons of money? The bosses, the big dogs, yep. the ones that put it in. Right. They put the work in. So if you keep putting the work in and commit yourself with no problems, and we all go through problems. It's like Kyrie Irving said. Just because he's famous, that doesn't mean he's not gonna go through shit. That's facts. <laughs> they go through most shit. What did Biggie say? More money, more problems. <laughs> Guess what, goddammit? Your problem became mine because I got a bag. More money, more problems. <laughs> more money, more problems. So, yeah, right yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, man, you want to inspire? You want to leave the people with something, man? Want yeah. Clock in, shout out to. Man, yo, you watching Clocked In with my man right here, a top ranked gym. The best gym, the best cameraman, the best picture man. He is the man right here, clocked in. Hmm. Call oh, us your boy. <laughs> oh, <God. Look> <laughs> hey, I'm close to this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One last one before. How, how did Tank look and who you want to see him fight? Well, Tank Davis is a great fighter. He looked good. And he did everything he was supposed to do. He did it the same way he did when he fought Rolly Romero. Mm -hmm. Waited, patiently, seen it, seen it, seen it, took charge at the right time. That's what I'm telling you. When you're a professional, you'll know. <laughs> it's in you. It's in you. On me. Okay. Does that make sense? You're right, right, right. <laughs> well, I did not get something just hit me too. Is this internet defense, or this Twitter finger shit, is that real? I hope it is, because it makes money. When they talk it back and forth, is that some real shit? Or is they or they home drafting and shit like, man, listen, I called my boy and said, hey man, oh, this fight week, I'm gonna fuck with you all week. And yeah. Kind of pre warning yeah. or how it works. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or they be legit. It be legit or kind of No, I'm pretty sure it's premeditated. <laughs> but it's okay. Because it's all about making the dollar. You know you're gonna fight. Right. Now you already fine. clocked in. <laughs> you already clocked in. You know you're gonna fight. And like that's that's the final say. You clocked in and you ready to fight. Ain't no running now. Ain't no running now. Yeah. It's because once you hit those four squares, there's no more babysitting. That's a big crib. <laughs> hey, get comfortable in that. Yeah. Only thing, if you need a blanket, you get knocked out. <laughs> Alright, look, I'm gonna now really leave you alone. Is sparring equivalent to fight? No, because sparring is supposed to be for practice and working on things that your coach teach you. Everybody wants to go in the ring and dominate and forgot you should dominate 